Support. The maestro, please. End of the month, so it's that time again to have another pop analysis. Today, we're going to be looking at All My Life by Lil Durk featuring J. Cole. Lil Durk. Durk Banks, yes, that is his real name, is a rapper, singer, and songwriter coming out of Chicago and is the protege of French Montana and member of the Chicago group Only the Family. Many of his hit songs have actually been in collaboration with other artists, whether they be outside of his genre. They tell me, tell me don't trust me. Broadway girls are trapped. They own me, they try to finesse me, they say one more than no. Or very much inside of his genre. This that pop music. This that drop location, drop a op music. Man, this ain't for them niggas in the house. This shit for J. Cole. Hasn't been too long since we talked about J. Cole, first mentioning him when we did. I can't be out here mopping up Wendy's. My life is all I have. My Since then, he's gotten a number of other hits under his belt, mostly through collaborations, such as... You broke her heart, huh? When you met her, she was young and hella pure, huh? Ain't had no clue that she was fucking with it. And even going international with... Oh, hell, the mighty survivor of hell. Plop down from heaven to cell. Holy water that I scoop for... Background. All My Life was originally released on May 12th of 2023, just charting two weeks later at number two, which is where it still sits as of the end of May. In case the cover art didn't give it away, as the single itself doesn't have its own cover art, it is off of his album Almost Healed, which was released on May 26th. It is the first single off the album, currently one of two, the second being... 2010, Beyond Lil Durk and J. Cole working on this song, we have Dr. Luke, Rocco Did It Again, Ryan OG, Lunch Money Lewis, and Uptown AP. Marking the second time we've had to talk about Dr. Luke, first being when we did. Do you wanna F -R -E -K -F -R. Since then, despite his ongoing legal troubles, he's worked on a few more songs as well, such as. Well, you know you hit the lottery. Cha -ching, cha -ching. On which he worked alongside Lunch Money Lewis and What's it gonna take to get you all alone? Look at me Like what you see in which he worked alongside Rocco Did It Again. Speaking of Rocco Valdez, aka Rocco Did It Again, he is also no stranger to having some hip hop tracks on top of the pop charts, such as That my best friend, she a real bad bitch, got her own money, she don't need no nigga on the dance floor. As well as I make it just like, like crack in the 80s, baby these bitch ain't niggas ain't crazy, broke ass ass cap go straight to my baby. Ryan Ogren, better known as Ryan OG, is also no stranger to having some hits on the charts, whether it's EDM or pop, or R&B and hip hop. Lunch Money Lewis's second time here as well, as we also talked about him when we did Super Freaky Girl. Since then, though, he's had no other charting contributions. Finally, we have Uptown AP, Thomas Theron, first talking about him when we did... Okay. Since then, he's been able to get another Lizzo contribution up on the charts as well. In case nobody told you today, All My Life is released by Only the Family, Alamo, and Sony. Form. All My Life is a rap song, is about 3 minutes 44 seconds long, is in E flat major, and is 71, or depending on you ask, 142 beats per minute. Song opens up with an intro done by J. Cole. Dougie, you told me he been on some positive shit, yeah, yeah. Lately, I just want to show up and body some shit, yeah, yeah. Before going into a chorus with Lil Durk supporting a children's choir. All my life. They be trying to keep me down. We then get Lil Durk's verse. I decided I had to finish, but the media called me a menace. Before going back into the chorus. All this time. All this time. Make it out. Then getting J. Cole's verse, which is twice as long. First generation ghetto nigga. Cold world, hello niggas. Going into the third and final chorus. They couldn't bring me, they couldn't bring me. No, no. They couldn't take me, No. Which ultimately ends the song. He 
keyboard. One of only two harmonic and melodic instruments, this one very much being the harmonic one, we open up with a C minor chord going to a B flat major over D, and then to an E flat major. We then go into an F minor 7 before working our way back down to that B flat major over D, passing that E major chord, which it then repeats. Bass. As for the other instrument, the bass, it basically just repeats the bottom note of each chord that we heard in the keyboard. Going on that low C, working its way up to D, and then up to E flat, hitting that F before working its way back down to D through that E flat, which it then also repeats. Intro. Having J. Cole singing his raps in the intro, and very much focusing on these triplet figures, given they bounce back and forth on whether we're talking about a 16th note triplet or an 8th note triplet, given there are some straight rhythms thrown in here and there. Dougie, you told me he been on some positive shit, yeah, yeah. Lately, I just want to show up and body some shit, yeah, yeah. Always been a little mathematician Lately this cash I'm getting Got me losing count of these bags I've been moving too fast Oddly enough, he doesn't give us a full phrase at the second half of the intro Just a sub-phrase still repeating on the figures that he did before Given there's a bit more syncopation Hard times don't last Remember when cops are rads Talking out my ass Boy, you ain't shit but a bitch with a bad Chorus Oddly enough, for a Lil Durk song, he doesn't actually do much during the chorus. He gives these ad-libs on that lower bar in the space between the children's choir. The children's choir is the one that actually carries the main melody, very syncopated and spanning only that E-flat bottom line on the staff, working its way up to that A-flat. All my life, they be trying to keep me down. All this time. The second half of the course does have the children's choir going a bit more active, doing these syncopated 16th note runs, and going as high as that B flat, but they then return to what they were originally doing at the very beginning of the course. And that goes for Little Dirk's ad libs as well. No, no. No. All my life. Keep me down. Verse. Getting into the meat of the song, Lil Durk singing his verse as he typically does, that's why he's known as the voice, going back and forth between these duple and triple figures, and sometimes being very heavily syncopated, given that might just be because of his loose flow, especially on those last two bars. I decided I had to finish, but the media called me a menace. I decided with the mayor and politicians, I'm trying to change the image. You can't blame my past no more, I come from the trenches. Some said I'd never be a superstar, but I know I'm different. As we move into the following phrase, we do have that nice transitionary ad lip he does, that additional line on no, 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 before pretty much going back to just duple and triple rhythms, given they're a tad more spaced out now. If I'm the voice, but the system ain't give me a choice. Know some people that's still undeployed. I know a felon who trying to get forward. Child support, you only support. For a visit, I'm going through courts. With the jail, they was chaining me up. And you know that I'm famous as fuck. Moving into the final phrase of his verse, he does start off just doing more triples, but the entire back half Half of this is almost sung in just straight syncopation. See how you gon' joke about stimulus, but they really had came in the clutch. I know some kids wanna hurt themselves. Stop trying to take drugs, I refer to myself. Trying to better myself, trying to better my health. J. Cole's verse actually juxtaposes Lil Durk's quite nicely. He is not singing, his rhythms are straight, and his flow is very tight. First generation ghetto nigga, cold world, hello niggas, made it out of the city with my head on straight. Niggas keep shooting up the let out, yo enjoy the pill, gotta get out. The shit that I spit out is a cheat code like I'm facing a Rico and how a nigga put a hit out. That being said, in the following phrase, while still keeping that very tight flow, he does add more triplets and he does sing for the majority of this phrase before transitioning back into straight rapping. And another one, and, and another one. I got like a hundred of them by the lap, nigga, so they think they're ahead of me, but I'm really in front of them now. Some of them fumbling they bad, fucking up the little crumbs that they had. A reminder to humble yourself, this shit could be gone in an instant. As we get into the next phrase, he does go back to just straight rapping 
rapping, no singing at all, but now you can see he's very much going back and forth between duple and triple, just like Lil Durk was doing in his verse. I'm running long distance, all pistons, firing, I've been stuck between maybe retiring and feeling like I'm just not hitting my prime. These days, seeing rappers be dying way before they even get in they shine. I never even heard a little buddy, to somebody murder a little buddy. Now I'm on the phone searching a little buddy name. In fact, as his verse continues, he starts to add more triple rhythms, removing a lot of his duple ones. Got a plane as tunes all day in my room. Think it damn, this shit wicked to get their names buzzing. Some niggas just gotta go lay in a tomb. Immediate thirsty for clicks. I got a new rule. If you ain't never posted a rapper when he was alive, you can't post about him after he get hit. That being said, at the end of his verse, he does go back to just his straight rhythms that he opened with in the very beginning of his verse. It's simple, it's the principle on any tempo. I'm invincible, don't even rap, I just fit to you. I'd rather that than an interview most days. Fuck them all like I'm going through a whole phase. Young niggas shoot out the whip like road rage. I pray all of my dogs stay so paid. And the only thing to kill him is OA. This pop analysis actually juxtaposes quite nicely with our last one, Princess Diana by Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj. Both are proper rap songs, but the topic and material of this very much is different. Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj is very much your traditional braggadocio, a lot of confidence, a lot of hype up, where this is actually quite more introspective, looking at the past. And when you really listen through all of this stuff, especially on Little Dirk, you can actually really believe that he's trying to better myself, trying to better my health, but all my life, they be trying to keep me down. All this time. Make it out. I find it extremely funny that the last time we did J. Cole was his song My Life, and now we're doing this song featuring J. Cole called All My Life. I can't wait till we do the next J. Cole song or something he's featured on, and it'll be called This Is All My Life, or All My Life Has to Offer, just kind of expanding the title until it's a full sentence. Oh. No, no. No. All my life. 